didn't work. The third thing didn't work as intelligent as you thought you were. Speaking to the doctors with this crisis, many of them will confirm that they don't know what's going on at times. They've tried everything and they realize that, you know what, it's not in their hands. They can only try, but it's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who grants the effect of the medication. That's true. Look at how many people having exactly the same medication for the same diagnosis. It works on some, it doesn't work on some. That is the power of Allah. Allah is just showing us how helpless we are and how He is. Rabbul Izzati wal Jalal. So what is of importance is for us to realize this balance. وَعَلَى اللَّهِ فَتَوَكَّلُوا إِن كُنْتُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ If you are true believers, then you would lay your trust in Allah in the correct sense. Subhanallah. What is the meaning of the correct sense? Tawakkul. We have a tashdeed on the kaf. Tawakkul. Tawakkul means... Do whatever is in your capacity, God-given capacity, Allah-given capacity, in order to ensure what you would like and lay your trust in Allah. Look at Yusuf alayhi salatu was salam. When his father was speaking to his brothers, and the brothers were going back to the palace of the minister in order to, uh, to get their rations, he says, oh my sons, there are 11 of you, so many. I fear the evil eye, subhanallah. I fear the evil eye. So if you're all going to enter from one gate and they see 11 handsome youngsters all looking similar, all walking through the same door, perhaps evil eye may affect you in one way or another. So what he says, he says, وَقَالَ يَا بَنِيَّ لَا تَدْخُلُوا مِن بَابٍ وَاحِدٍ وَدْخُلُوا مِنْ أَبْوَابٍ مُتَفَرِّقَةٍ he says, oh my children, don't enter from one door, enter from all separate doors. Let them not recognize that you are all part of one big family. MashaAllah, tabarakallah. And he says, you know what? I hold nothing. If Allah wills anything, I have nothing that will hold it back. But we obviously have to lay our trust. So he says, alayhi tawakkaltu. I have now laid my trust in Allah. He took his precautions by doing what? He told his children a few things. He says, look, I fear you might take this child, this other brother, and he might disappear. When they gave him the promises, and then he gave them advice, how to enter the door and what to do. And then he said, now I've laid my trust in Allah. Alayhi tawakkaltu. Wa alayhi mutawakkilun. And he says, indeed, those who are the layers of trust should lay their trust only in Him, in Allah. You want to lay your trust in someone, it should only be Allah. Ultimate trust is laid in Allah. We do know that if a little child looks at the parent, a little uh, person looks at someone bigger, uh, a person who's working for you looks at you as a boss, or as a, when I say as a boss, I mean as someone who's slightly above them in authority or in wealth or whatever else, they say, look, I trust you and I know this. What they mean is, I only trust you within the limits that Allah has given you. Beyond that, it's Allah whom I ultimately trust for me and for you. Subhanallah. So Allah gives everyone a little capacity. If you take a look at Yusuf alayhi salam's story, it's amazing because right at the beginning, he tells his son, don't even narrate this dream to the others. Why? That's part of taking precautions. Subhanallah. Something bad will happen perhaps if you just relate this dream and guess what? Lo and behold, Allah wanted it to be. As much as he told his child, the innocent child told the brothers. And as a result, subhanallah, there was the evil plot that was planned against him. But the lesson learned is, didn't he speak about it? Didn't uh, Yaqub alayhi salam say that, oh my son, don't narrate this dream to your own brothers as a precaution? Subhanallah. But Allah still let something happen. And one thing went wrong according to us, but it was not wrong according to Allah. 
The human mind looks at it as a negativity. That was the beginning of the positivity. Allah creates positives out of a negative. What seems negative to you is a positive to Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you are a believer and you lay your trust in Allah, nothing can go wrong. Look at the battles when the Prophet ﷺ was in the battle of Uhud. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed so many verses. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us at the time of war, He says, those believers who took part in that war, Allah says, they were promised one of the two good things, ihdal husnayain, used in the Quran. One of two good things is going to happen to them. What are one of those two good things? You lay your trust in Allah, you either achieve victory, which is temporary in this world, or you achieve martyrdom, which is everlasting. Subhanallah. It is success. You're a believer. You don't look at it negatively. It's a trying time. It's a test. It's a difficulty. But Amazing are the affairs of a true believer for indeed all his or her affairs are good. If something bad happens physically to us as we human beings would look at, we would consider it to be the decree of Allah. It was a good thing. We bear patience and the patience will result in us being rewarded immeasurably. And if something good according to...